friends, Alex from Alex Crypt here, and I've gotten a few questions lately on how to best use the art starts, and these are so much fun. Um, this is just one example. I believe this is number 29, but I'll link it in the comments below, but these are so fun. They're like little artsy bits, lots of different colors, and there's lots of different themes in there. They usually come with some um, painty bits, some sequins, um, usually some stitching or ribbons, lots of different variety. I love making them and I love seeing how you guys use them, but some people have been asking how to best use them. So I thought I would do a really quick video to show you. So I like to print them on clear label paper. So full sheet shipping labels, my favorite is Avery, but there are a couple other options and I will link those in the description box, but I just print that. Make sure you get the um, correct one for your printer. Like I have an inkjet printer, so I get inkjet. I have accidentally printed on laser ones with my inkjet printer. The results are not as good. So I recommend getting the one for your printer. So what I like to do is print it on the clear sticker paper and then you can either cut them out one at a time or cut them out all together or just use it one by one. I love this girl right here, and so I'm gonna cut out her little bits. And sometimes the artsy, like, painty stuff gets in to the other ones, but since I make them in usually coordinating colors, it's kind of fun that you don't really know where exactly they're supposed to end. So you can kind of keep, keep using them all together. So I'm just gonna cut this out because it's the clear paper. You don't need to be exact. You don't need to do a lot of fussy cutting. You can just do the general outline. So you can also do this on regular sticker paper, but you won't have that clear background. Um, and so it gets a little bit harder, but if you're doing something on just like regular paper, that would work fine. It'd be a little bit more cost effective. So I have my girl here and I'm going to be doing a page in my Bible and just like the thin pages. That's why the clear sticker paper just works awesome on these. And I'm going to do Proverbs 31. I just love that verse and I need it right now. So I am going to be covering a little bit of the verse, but that's okay. This is just all art for God. Um, and what I might do, and what I like to do a lot with these, is you can see like all of that leaves some trapped white space right here. A little bit extra room. Covers the verse a little bit too much. So what I like to do is kind of line it up and cut some of that off. Just that way it doesn't hang over the page or I don't have to have it all the way over here. That kind of thing. So, again, this is not exact because it's artsy bits and art is not exact. So, I just cut that straight to line up with the page or I attempted to cut that straight. And I like to keep these little bits that I've cut off because then I can add little, little more artsy bits around. So, much better. And then I'll probably add this up here just to kind of mirror that. So, then from there I just peel off the back. I, I like to do a little section at a time because it's much easier to line up if it's not all sticky. So put that down, right there, fold it back, smooth the rest on, and sometimes, there, see there still is a little bit hanging off the page. You can either trim that, or you can fold it over. There's actually not enough to trim right now, but it doesn't leave much at all. So, there she is. Let me show you a little bit closer and see how you can kind of even see through like the watercolor bits. You can still read some of the words and it looks like you spent a long time painting that on the page and it just turns out absolutely beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to add the top bit. And again, sometimes you have to peel all of it because it's such a small piece but still super easy. I'm gonna line this up just with the top, smush it down, and look at that. Nice anchor point at the top of the page. And that mirrors really nicely. 
Of course, you don't have to do it in your Bible. I also love doing them on, like, the Library of God card. And let's see. I'm going to use this one right here. It's going to match really nicely. So, for this one, I'm going to have it go down the bottom of the page. We're just going to... Down the side of the page, rather. Cut it in half. And that way you could even do, like, part here, part here, like that. That would actually look really cool. Let's do that. We're going to go up a little bit. And then just peel off the back. Stick it down. You can definitely still see, let's slow it down a little bit. Sometimes you can see a little bit of clear, but I, you don't see it when it's far away. You just, when you're up close, you can still see the lines. You can still see the basic outline. I just love how that looks. And again, it looks like he spent a long time painting it on and waiting for it to dry. When really, he made the art nice and easy. You can still see date studied. It just looks like you painted right over it. And there you go. And I can even stick this right here and kind of have just some thoughts about the verse that I was studying. Use it as a bookmark. Or pop a, a hole in there and put it on my jump rings. So I hope that gave you a couple more ideas on how to use the art starts. Be sure to leave questions or comments um, down below and let me know what your favorite way to use them is and if you have any further questions. I can't wait to see what you do. Bye-bye.